If you want to move your nodes from one location to another location inside your Obsidian Vault, then this video will serve you. Recently, I was trying to move my book nodes from my personal vault to Patreon members vault and I found that I had to do it manually because all of my book notes are inside resources folder. It's not only book notes that are inside resources folder, but also all the other nodes. So I had to manually find which of those nodes in the resources folder were book notes and do the manual work. But I found a better way with a few Google searches. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that, how you can easily move notes from one folder to another folder without the hassle of you having to do it manually. We'll be leveraging DataView plugin and one another company plugin called as file cooker in order to do that work. So let me take you straight to the video and show you how it's done. This is a Patreon members world that I'm creating and here are all of the book notes inside this book folder. We'll move all of these notes from book folders to another folder for this example. Okay. I'll just write another folder for this example. We'll move notes from this book folder to this another folder. And this is a reading list created with the help of data view plugin, card CSS and callouts. I'll be making another video on how you can create a book tracker or book library in Obsidian. I will also update the link in the description. So once that video is released, you can directly go and see it. So now let's get back to the main point of this video. That is to move these notes from books folder to another folder to move notes in batch. So we'll need to go to Comity plugins and install the plugin called as FileCooker. This FileCooker plugin deals with multiple nodes from source results, current files and data view query. There are many things that you can do with this plugin like batch editing properties, moving multiple nodes to different folders, deleting multiple files and many more. In this video, we'll only talk about moving files from one location to another location. Once you have installed enable the plugin. If you go to option, these are only two options. You don't need to change any of this. Here's the limit that you can set for batch operations. I'll let it default. Now let's use the file cooker plugin in order to move these notes from books folder to another folder. I will be using data view, right? Uh, so you'll need to install the data view plugin. If you have not installed it, you'll need to install it. I already have the data view plugin in this world. So I'll create a new note and I can name it anything moving files. Here you will need to write a data view query. If you don't have a good understanding of data view, I'll link a video in the description, which you can watch to learn more about data view. We'll create a data view query with list from, you can select from, I have used the tag book in all of my book notes. So if I use from tag, it will list uh, notes with that tag, or you can also use from this particular folder. But if all of the files were inside one particular folder, we would not need the file cooker plugin, right? There are many different types of files in that particular folder. So we need to find a way to differentiate those files from that folder. So for my case, I have used the tag book. You might be using tags or you can also be using links in those files. So you can use links as well to create a data view query. So I'll just use from book tag. Now, if I click on preview, this will, the data view will render all the results. You can move all of these data view results with this file cooker plugin. So how do you do it? You can go to command palette and search for file cooker and you can see these multiple commands. Now we, we are only trying to move files. So there is no option for data view, right? And this is because we are in the reading view right now. If I go to editing view, I can go on command palette and search for file cooker move and you can see move data view query results to it will show you which folder do you want to move these nodes to i click on another folder and this will result in the query string string error and the reason why this error occurs is because we are not doing it the right way you cannot just go to command palette you will have to select the data view query from here here is the data view query list nodes from book tag so you'll need to select this query. Do not select the data view section here. Just list from book and now go to command palette and search for file cooker move move data view query results to. Now if you click on another folder, it will open this window for confirmation. Click on confirm and you can see the move is success. All of the book notes are inside this another folder. This is just one way of moving files. You can also move files from this search result. If I write 
book and I go to command palette and file cooker you can see here is the option to move files in search result to books folder I can click on confirm now all the search result 105 book files will be moved uh, to the books folder there are still few books in the another folder which are not moved to the books folder let me see why that happened because in this another folder the book tag is here and let me say in the books folder okay the reason here is because uh, the book note uh, the book tag is in the body of the note but here in these notes the book tag is in the yml section in our source result if i search for uh, book hashtag it will result 105 results and i guess uh, this result is only showing from the body it does not show the tag in the yml front matter that is why the operation to move notes from this another folder to books folder did not complete successfully but you can do it easily as well let me create a new note new note create a data view query and from book hashtag click on preview it will show all of these book notes now i can select this query go to command palette search for file cooker move data view query results to books folder click on confirm now there are no notes in this another folder so this is a really simple way to move notes from one location to another location if you want to organize your notes into folder structure and you have a messy structure right now in obsidian then you can use this file cooker plugin in order to move notes easily from one folder to another folder along with the batch moving feature it also offers multiple other features like editing properties deleting files etc so that's all for this video i hope you found this video valuable if you want to support me for creating more content like this you can support me via my patreon thank you for watching have a great time bye bye meet you next time